Good day, good day there, Royal fans. Today's news. Graham Smith, who heads up the campaign group Republic, is calling for the abolition of the monarchy as the head of the British state. Mr. Smith described how the departure of Meghan and Harry from front line of senior royals was very different to previous ex exits, most notably the abdication of Edward VIII in 1936. Mr. Smith said, The last time it really happened was the abdication, but that happened in a very difficult set of circumstances for the entire royal family. It was quite traumatic for them. He added that once a person is born into a life within the royal family or becomes integrated into it, it likely feels like a one-way street, a conveyor belt or a highway with no exits. He said it's like Harry and Meghan have suddenly said, well hang on, there's an off-ramp here. You don't need to do this. You can go and do something else. He continued to say that such a realization could pose an issue for the royal family going forward because they may now have to work much harder trying to instill some sense of royalty or duty in those who could realize there are other options open to them. Meghan and Harry's exit from royal life sent shockwaves to the firm and through publics around the world. Mr. Smith added, A lot of what Meghan and Harry said in that interview last year rang true for an awful lot of people. He added that it made the monarchy look shabby, inflexible and secretive, and incapable of living by the standards of 2022. Mr. Smith argued that although reports of a rift between the Duchess of Sussex and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, may have contributed to Megxit, the driving force will have been the monarchy's inability to adapt. He claimed the Sussexes' new way of operating away from the front lines of the royal household showed the royal family to be dysfunctional and incapable of being flexible or changing. Royal expert Emily Andrews suggested Meghan had hoped to find a companion in her sister-in-law who would sympathize and understand the process of slotting in among senior royals. Ms. Andrews claimed, Here were two women, both outsiders, marrying into the royal family, living on the same complex at Kensington Palace. Of course, they'd be besties. She continued on to say that this was likely Meghan's expectation to have a confidant who knew the challenges she was facing and offer advice to power through the difficulties. She said that's what Meghan felt. She confided in a number of her friends that she hoped Kate would help her adjust to royal life, but the cracks started to show pretty early on. Behind the scenes, Meghan was feeling a bit rebuffed. I'm not sure whether Kate ever realized. Thank you guys for watching today's headline. Please do like, comment and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.